The city of Santa Clarita tackles $93 million in redevelopment agency debt. Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCV News Break for Wednesday, January 25th. Santa Clarita's redevelopment agency is heading down a long, unwinding road now that the city council voted Tuesday night to become the successor agency. So how does redevelopment get carried out from now on? It doesn't. The goal of the successor agency is really to wind down the activities. As of this legislation passing, we cannot take on any further redevelopment activities. There could be a temporary reprieve for redevelopment agencies if the state legislature passes and Governor Brown signs SB 659, which would delay dissolution by next week. The city is now responsible for paying the agency's bills with money that would otherwise have accrued to the agency. The city will also be paid a management fee of up to 5% of the property tax within the Newhall Redevelopment Project area to handle the books. Coming after the break, Congressman McKeon weighs in on the President's the State of the Union board. address. And they're sitting in the Senate. The Senate has not addressed. This is Toyota Today. Smart. Safe. And worry-free. We make SoCal go. Now, lease the all-new Camry, America's best-selling car, for only $249 a month. Or choose low 2-9 financing for 60 months and get Toyota Care complimentary maintenance. We make it easy on you. See your Southern California Toyota dealer. Caltrans plans to shut down a portion of Interstate 5 south of Santa Clarita overnight starting Sunday. The closures are part of a project to build a new connector between the 5 and the 170 and install carpool lanes on I-5 between the 170 and 118. Northbound lanes will be closed overnight between Sheldon and Osborne Streets Sunday through Wednesday. Southbound traffic will be shut down February 1st and 2nd. All closures will begin at 11.59 p.m. and end at 6 a.m. the following morning. Detours will be posted and traffic will be diverted onto Laurel Canyon Boulevard. Residents will begin a chance to chime in on Santa Clarita's One Valley, One Vision plan in downtown Los Angeles next month. The L.A. County Board of Supervisors is scheduled to hold a public hearing on the Santa Clarita Valley Area Plan update on the morning of February 28th. Written comments are being accepted. Send them to the address on your screen or send an email to publichearing at bos.lacounty.gov. Those addresses are also available on scvnews.com. The final environmental impact report for One Valley, One Vision will also be considered at that meeting. Congressman Buck McKeon viewed last night's State of the Union address by President Barack Obama from the perspective of his position as chairman of the Armed Services Committee. He says Obama proposes eliminating the jobs of 200,000 servicemen and women over the next two years, along with another half trillion dollars eliminated from the military budget. And that doesn't even consider the sequestration that kicks in a year later that takes another half trillion out of defense. So that over the next 10 years, we'll be spending $100 billion a year less on defense. McKeon says historically the United States cuts back on defense at the end of a war and then finds itself unprepared for the next one. Now for the weather. Clear skies and breezy today in Santa Clarita where the high reached 75 degrees. Wind gusts as high as 31 miles per hour were recorded around 3 o'clock this afternoon. Thursday's high is expected around 80 with breezy conditions, conditions similar to today. We're looking at a potential of strong Santa Ana winds Friday night and into Saturday with gusts reaching 50 miles per hour and highs in the mid-70s all weekend long. And here to tell us what's going, what else is going on this weekend besides our weather and the wind blowing all over the place is our entertainment reporter Stephen K. Peoples. Well, thanks, Ryan. On Friday night at 7, the West Ranch High School Studio A Jazz Band, the West Ranch Lab Band, and the Wildcat Combo are going to perform at the West Ranch High School Winter Jazz Concert. Band director Brian Leff will lead the students as they perform compositions by Gordon Goodwin, Dave Brubeck, Sammy Nestico, Pat Matheny, Bob Mincer, and Bob, uh, Bill Holzman. Excuse me. That's at the West Ranch High Theater. An adaptation of the beloved children's classic Peter and the Wolf takes the main stage at the Santa Clarita Performing Arts Center on Saturday afternoon. 
It's one of the shows in the pack's almost free family series. Showtime's 2 p.m. and tickets go for 10 to $15. For details and ducats, visit canyonspack.com. Also Saturday night, the Santa Clarita Valley Blues Society throws its kickoff party for this year's International Blues Challenge competition in Memphis. Seven award-winning Memphis-bound local bands will take the stage at the Arcadia Blues Club starting at 6.45 p.m. Advanced tickets are just $10 or $15 at the door. Visit ArcadiaBluesClub.com or call 626-447-9349 for tickets and more information. I'm Stephen K. Peoples with the SCV Entertainment Minute. Back to you, Ryan. Thank you, Stephen. And of course, for more entertainment news as well as all other local news, log on to HometownStation.com or SCVNews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Haslam. Are you all-you-can-eat kind of hungry? Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an endless feast of your favorite Asian and American cuisine. Sizzling hibachi cooked right in front of your eyes. Fresh, delicious sushi, succulent crab legs, shrimp, oysters, and more. Kyoto Seafood Buffet offers an all-you-can-eat weekday lunch for just $9.99. Not in the mood for seafood? No problem. From steamy chow mein, tangy barbecue chicken, and savory roast, we've got your cravings covered. Visit Kyoto Seafood Buffet in the Big Lot Shopping Center on Soledad Canyon Road.